Let's meet our bachelor, Jake. Grew up on the Central Coast through most of my life and stuff, real outdoorsy and all that kind of jazz. You like to be adventurous, travel. What do you kind of look for in a relationship? Adventurous, you know what I mean? Someone that's gonna be able to jump straight in the car, go for a road trip and stuff yeah. like that. For our first experiment, we're gonna be measuring physical attraction. One by one, Jake will meet each potential partner for the first time. They'll introduce themselves, hold hands, and look into each other's eyes for 15 seconds. He'll be wearing this heart rate monitor the whole time so we can measure any sparks or fizzles throughout the interaction. Jada, Lydia, and Amanda elicited the highest responses in you. Who stood out to you? Diana, Lydia, mm -hmm. and Jada. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what they say? Men lie, women lie, but the numbers don't. Now that we've gauged Jake's attraction to our participants, we're gonna be assessing their compatibility in regards to the five big personality traits and his relationship style. Using his results, we created 11 agree or disagree statements to gauge his compatibility with each participant. Now we're gonna get Jake back on to see where he stands. So Jake, now that you've done all these tests and surveys, yeah. have you learnt much about your own personality style? The big five was definitely like what was pretty on par with what I already thought. Okay. Like, very, very open person, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, um, friends with so many different people from different backgrounds and things like that. And then when it came to like extrovertedness, 100%, you know? Like, um, yeah. every time I go out, I make friends and stuff like that. I have mm -hmm. no problem with making friends. Yeah. You know, sometimes maybe too extroverted to some people are like, oh my God, can this guy shut up for five minutes? <laughs> So our test also sh um, showed that you're very uh, open to communication. You're all about getting it out there and getting it sorted as, as straight away as possible. 100%. Like, mm, yeah. I've never been a bottle up type of person. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's just really not me. Like, all the relationships I have been in have been predominantly more on the healthy side, for sure. Every relationship has its issues. Of course. But as I love to talk about problems as soon as they arise. Yeah. You know, like sit there, have a chat about it. Doesn't have to be confrontational. Doesn't have to be super serious and on the point. But as long as we get there, we're not going to sleep angry. We're not going apart angry. Yeah. If I feel sad about something or if they do, I'd expect that communication. Of course. All right, well, let's get the girls in here and see where the gap lies in your compatibility. Let's do it. Awesome, man. Awesome. Thank you, my man. Uh, hello everybody, how are we? <laughs> Seems like a party upstairs, very jealous. <laughs> Communication style. When my partner and I don't see eye to eye, I prefer to have space and reflect rather than directly try to understand and solve the problem. Agree or disagree? Cool stuff, very 50-50 almost, very nice. All right, and uh, does anyone have anything to say about that? Does anyone, yeah, want the mic over here? I think sometimes if you have a conversation straight after a disagreement, he heads can butt, so it's good to have space alone to really reflect on what you've said, what you've thought, and really just go back in and reflect on like, and in do some introspection and think, okay, was this the right thing to say or do? How do they feel and put yourself in their shoes? I have to agree with her because sometimes when you're like in the mood, like you're so heated and stuff, you really can't think. So <laughs> you really can't think straight. So, you know, just kind of cool the vibe down and then just come to the discernment like, okay, you know, we're at the same, you know, calm level now. And so just kind of go for it then, yeah. Uh, whatever they're saying is correct um, because you need space. However, my argument is that it depends on how much space you need because you might say you need space and maybe you need space for one month. What am I doing that one month? If it's space for one hour, yes, to a certain extent, but depends on the duration of the space that you want to take. I get more intimate expressing my feelings, vulnerabilities and trust there rather than holding hands, cuddling and kissing. Agree or disagree? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see what you got to say. I validate, I think, a physical intimacy more. Physical intimacy is also like my love language, you know. So that's like, 
a major part of it. So like connecting on an emotional level is a lot different than physical. I think for males and females, it's a lot different. Um, to actually open yourself up fully and be vulnerable is a big step. And I think that's the whole point of having a relationship is to show someone all of you. I'm quite guarded and prefer to take my time opening up when dating someone new. Okay, all right. I guess it's something I'm definitely working on and it is something that I don't want to be as guarded with and I want to be a lot more open and honest with the other person as well as myself. But I know that I am and I think that's why the previous question I was also definitely more interested in being more vulnerable and opening up as opposed to the physical intimacy. No, I'm good. I'm an open book. Everyone knows my secrets before I even know they're meant to be a secret. So <laughs> I'm out there and I've got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Uh, sometimes people judge you when you open up straight away. They either start dating you out of pity uh, or they start judging you. So I used to be open and then I realized that I think I'd rather just be close a little and not be an open book. I was an open book girlfriend, but <laughs> now nah, I started holding back, you know, and they start judging you like uh, when you have a fight, they remind you of your past. Oh, that is why you were having issues with your ex-boyfriend because of this and that. I didn't tell you that so that you can use it against me, yeah? So now that's why I try to close a little. Yeah. But it's also very good to know, to open up from the beginning. That way it helps you, there's no secrets and everything, but then at the same time, you know, I think it takes a long time to like get to know someone. Uh, you can't be defined by like one experience, one word. So, and physical intimacy, that previous question, um, that comes a lot later, like once I've like really trust someone. So yeah. I am not really looking for anything in particular and seeking to discover whatever life has to give rather than really knowing what I want and diving into something. Agree or disagree? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you look for, you're not going to find. If you're looking for a relationship, you're not going to get it. If you're looking to stay single, you're not going to be single. So if you're just out there, like, just be yourself and the universe will bring to you whatever you need at the time. That's my philosophy. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah, cool. I just don't feel like I'm in any rush to chase anything in particular. I think the door's always open, but if no one turns up, I'm just gonna enjoy my time with my family and friends. That's the most important thing. Love that. If you're going out to meet your future husband, potentially you're gonna marry the wrong person. I think like it should come naturally. Like you'd be friends or whatever, or you could just meet them on a night out. Like I just think it is what it is. Go with the flow. And that doesn't mean you're not looking for something or whatever, but it just means take it naturally rather than for something that's not going to work, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think if you know what you want, like, you're not shutting anything off. So, you, like, you, go, you guys said, like, you're always leaving the door open, but are you ready? Like, if someone, if the right person came along, are you ready to actually put your all into something like that? Um, you know, with someone who knows what they want, knows what they want in a partner, knows what they bring in a relationship, you, you're not constantly looking, but you know that when you meet someone, you're either compatible or not compatible with them straight away. You don't need a couple of dates and it's a waste of time and energy. I feel like when you're open to whatever comes your way, you've got time to like invest in yourself and make sure that you're like ready for when that person comes but if you're looking for a relationship you're sort of like tunnel visioned on this one thing and I think that can sort of stop you from embracing like other parts of life so I think it's important to just kind of do you and whatever comes your way if it's for you then it's going to work out if it's not then that's okay. It's that word. What? Consci Conscientious. Conscientiousness. Yeah. It was like all of us down here being like conscientiousness <laughs> for like 10 straight minutes. I prefer to plan and be prepared than going with the flow and being spontaneous. Agree or disagree? I feel like that organization. Yeah. Cool. I think for me, I'm more of a like go with the flow type 
type person but you know like if you have something planned like you know you're gonna prepare for it but I don't know I think I just sort of wake up and I'm like you know like what do I feel like today like what am I gonna do you know the sun's shining let's go to the beach um yeah just more sort of like you know go with the flow and um yeah I guess like whatever happens or comes my way like it's meant to be so just cruise it just cruise it just wing it yeah nice I love being spontaneous I think it's a lot of fun but the reason I decided to step forward in the end was because I do have a need for control sometimes. Just to make sure that I'm in control of my own life, that can be anything, that can be what job I want to go into, who I want to surround myself with, just making sure that I'm really doing what I want and that way, you know, what I do, that's like whatever I do, it's going to be best for me, which means it's going to be best for everybody else as well. I think I just love to, like to juice life. So there are so many things I love doing, so many people I care about, and I want to juice every second of it. Yeah. So for me, it's that, and also, I think everyone has a designated like reservations friend, birthday planner friend, yeah. 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 I'm that person. <laughs> and so it's just become that over time. Love that, all right, cool. Yeah, I like to be organized, all the things and the love, work, life, uh, instead of uh, being a follower, I want to be the one who influences others. Yeah. yeah awesome. I really enjoy my routine and feel uncomfortable with change and trying new things. <laughs> All right, lots of disagree. Can I just ask why none of you guys step forward when you said you like to like have a plan and stuff? But oh, no, it's different. To this I like to plan my spontaneous time if that makes sense. So I like it. It's the purpose. No, no, no. I'll have my routine, but I'll leave some space for like things to happen. So kind of like, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Isn't spontane spontaneity about like, just going with the flow? It is. So how do you plan it? I just, that confuses me. Do you want to go? I think it's more like a mood thing to be honest. <laughs> like if you're into it, like if you want Yeah, to. so I think it's it's more like a mood thing. Like you do have your structure and stuff, but then you feel like the universe is just pushing you to like do something break random. out of your control. Then you okay. just listen to your intuition and just jump right in. Yeah. That's really what it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sure. I think it's really important to be open to whatever comes in life because it really adds value to who you are as a person. And I feel like some of the best memories that I've ever had have been those random decisions that I never expected to be like these monumental parts of my memory and my life experience. Like, I think it's really attractive to have a partner that can just be like, hey, let's do this. And it's just like, it makes life exciting. It's, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'll see if they'll be down for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if anyone else has ever seen this, like, uh, the earlier videos on style trial and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I was on one of the first episodes, um, especially, I don't do it so much now, but especially when I was younger and stuff, I got into a really crazy niche hobby called historical reenactments. I worked for a lot of museums and stuff and did a lot of big events where I pretty much dressed up as a Viking or a gladiator and fought in front of kids in crowds. No way! <laughs> now everyone has seen them. Let's yeah, the look, let me show Yeah, look, not my usual type, but he's taller and he, I feel like from his Tattoos, he has like sort of, I don't know, it's like dominant Viking energy. No, That's no, why no, I no. The if you Google a Viking, you'll see his yes. tattoos. Yeah. 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 If you watch the Viking, yeah. his tattoos too. Mina is next. <laughs> Been, big yeah. surprise! Yeah, so. <laughs> a lot of experience doing that, so um, yeah, that's definitely... Are we down? Are we down? So we are... <laughs> Everyone that feels like a Viking on the inside, step forward. How good's your sword skill? Oh, double step forward. Oh, dang. <laughs> I am a Viking. Alright, statement 10. Neuroticism. What's the definition for that word? Negative emotion. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I typically don't feel confident and worry about a lot of things. <laughs> Slide on up. Um, if someone doesn't vibe with me and I'm trying to like vibe with them, I'll take it to heart. I'm a sook, so constructive criticism will make me cry straight away. Um, and 
Yeah, just not that confident unless you've got some alcohol in me. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Like, there's seven billion people on the earth. Not everyone's going to like you, so... And we're all going to die. <laughs> we're all going to be ash and dust. No one's going to remember me. So, like, does does the opinion of someone else matter to me? Like, obviously, I'm not a terrible person. If it's against my morals, I won't do it. But if someone doesn't like my personality, like, that's on you. It's not on me. Like, enjoy that. I'm just going to continue doing it. I am more of a shy person who prefers to avoid conflict of any sort. Take a step forward. <laughs> I guess like, I don't think I'm a shy person. I don't like conflict though, but um, I actually read this quote the other day and it's about communication. And rather than communicating in the way that you want to speak, you got to communicate in the way that they listen. So I think sometimes there's just no need for the conflict, um, especially within a work environment or when you're socialising as well. Yeah, I guess I tend to shy away with it, like from it. I think in a relationship, like, um, it's important to have like good conflict resolution. And I think like that can just be solved from just open communication, like at all times. Um, so I think that's really, really important. Just that like, open communication. Um, yeah. I like to talk things out. That's sort of how I resolve conflict to see like, okay, what are you thinking? But the way that I handle it is I feel like I am agreeable because I try to see their point of view and like kind of step in their shoes to resolve it. But I don't shy away from conflict because I sort of just want to see their perspective. Yeah, I love conflict so much. <laughs> That's why I learned karate. <laughs> Over. Crave violence, yeah. yeah. I've never been in a fight, I've never raised my voice, but um, when I know that like, I disagree with something, I come back to it later while, once I know what I want to say. So I don't shy away from speaking my mind. Yeah. I changed my mind by the way, I hope that's okay. <laughs> uh, my conflict is very passive aggressive, just so you know. <laughs> Um, it mostly is just the fact that, you know, it's sometimes um, we, I mean, even in fact, like you understand what the circumstances is and everything, but sometimes you just have to speak your mind and whether the person understands or no. So that's why it gets passive aggressive. It's like, I want you to understand, okay? <laughs> just deal with it, <laughs> deal with the drama. All right, well, that's, that's all the questions and stuff. Everyone, fantastic answers. Everyone was like, yeah, answered very, very well. Good stuff, that was applause. It was really hard for me not to be like, I so agree or I disagree. And I don't want them to know my answers, you know, like. So we've ranked our participants from the least compatible to the most compatible. Jake, are there any surprises? Surprises? Um, definitely. Like after like surveying like how it is, there was a couple of people I definitely thought would have ranked a bit higher and stuff like that. Okay. But uh, it's just how you learn about it, I guess. You know. Yeah. Especially from like the first round stuff. When I was asking the questions, I was not sure like of keeping track of who's in front, who's behind, and stuff. Yeah. Until when it all got rearranged, it was definitely like, oh okay. wow, a lot more. Maybe and more your top three compatible and your top three attracted to. I guess we could say. Yeah. Um, there's only one person in common. How do you feel about Lydia? About Lydia? Um, I remember like as soon as she came in and we held hands for the first time, it was definitely like, as soon as she came in, she started rubbing my hands a little bit and stuff. I was like, okay, this person's really affectionate, really straightforward. It was definitely like a lot of green flags straight away. I was like, okay, all right. Awesome. Keep an eye on this one. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We have three judges, including myself, who are gonna be analyzing each date based on the physical behaviors of our participants and Jake. Can you tell me you're a Viking still? <laughs> oh, damn. The whole, oh, it's still going. When you first came in, I was like, it's really pretty. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. If I call your name, please step forward. 